could do. Wait, subscribe he, to Gucci. Gucci feels Regman. Oh, happy. I guess feels Regman, but that's not Gucci feels. All right, well let's see how Daybreak I'm feels facing the Samus. Opting so, for Falco. Daybreak has plenty of experience in this matchup because Advo, one of his like practice partners, plays a fair bit of Samus. Not mm -hmm. like his main, but one of his very competent yeah. secondaries is a Samus. Mm, and I, I've I've played quite a few Samuses too. So and I've, I you can tell that this character is terrifying. Except oh, SD. that is very unfortunate right there. That yeah. is probably a miss input. I'm sure that uh, shot right there was not yeah. what he wanted. Probably up B. Daybreak is one of the best Falcos yeah. in the world, <laughs> believe it or not. Because Falco is just this underrepresented character. Yeah, he no, he's the, the, both these characters are kind of outshadowed by Zero Suit Samus and Fox, respectively. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. They both have counterparts from the same series yeah. that are very similar. Ooh. Ooh, trying to get that snipe. This is super yep. dangerous for Daybreak. Estrella oh showing goodness. his competence in this matchup nice with a relentless edge guard right here. Yeah, these back airs are paying dividends right now. Ooh. And that'll take the stock. Not phased. So quick. Not phased at all. So quick. Great stuff coming out from Estrella. Just kind of turning around there. Just kind of crossing Daybreak up. This After that SD, it's kind of been all yeah. Estrella up until yeah. that reflector right there. Daybreak's finally getting some chip damage. Mm -hmm. We're both uh, keeping it relatively even, though, but... This is hard to straight. <laughs> yeah. Estrella's really got the reads right now. Yeah. He seems to have a good handle on exactly where Daybreak wants to be. Mm -hmm. Reflector probably thought Charge Shot might have come out there. Down air. <laughs> Neutral? Down tilt. All right. And the forward air is going to break that up. Daybreak mm -hmm. is on the back foot here. Yeah. After such a like competent start, such a strong start. I mean, sometimes in SD, if you come back from it really strong, it's actually like... Terrifying. Oh, oh my, my god. Untackable. That was, that was a crazy that was angle awesome. right there. That was fantastic from Estrella. That was a right angle. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see. Look at his face. You yeah. Mm. So a lot of you have been wondering. That's that face. Mm. That wondering face. <laughs> Where do I take him next? I <laughs> just <laughs> trying to figure it no, out. No, I think we possibly see that cloud switch. Maybe. Uh, from Daybreak, the Zabumafu is what he cloud calls his cloud. <laughs> oh, Fox! This also makes sense. A much quicker character, and the up B is, is a little farther. Is a uh, is a. Uh, yeah, it goes farther. Excuse <laughs> me. You said it, and like you took the words like out of my mouth, and I'm sense. like spinning yeah. out of nowhere. Okay. That, all right. Now, more potent up airs when it comes to somebody like Fox. So we might probably see more vertical gameplay coming up from Daybreak. Yes, I, I would I would think so. And Town of City will aid that as well. You can yeah. Get that up air vortex going, and you'll kill a little bit earlier than Smashville. Mm -hmm. Especially the platform assistance, too. The spacing girl is there, trying to like just feel it out as Fox, because even though they're like similar characters when it comes to move sets, Falco and Fox me are playing very differently. Oh yeah, they are absolutely different characters because I dabble with Falco and then I like try to play Fox and it's hilariously awful. Uh, Great they play shot. incredibly different. Like there's certain aspects that are very good. Ooh, that was almost a lock setup yeah. right there. And the up is gonna come out of that shield. Take it uh, close to the blast zone. Yeah, but nice not quite off. You have to get one of those wonky Samus like uh, hitboxes. Yeah, like the very tippy KO. top of it. Yeah, you just nick them. That late hit dash attack too. Oh yeah. Like when you have max rate. Feels so bad, man. Crazy. I'd like to see that come out here. But. <laughs> Ooh, tries to get him again. No up airs coming out to punish that. Kind of surprising. Yeah, daybreak's a little late on that punish there, and that back air is coming through. This is much closer Ooh. though this time. Yeah. Something to take note here, the switch is paying dividends, and it looks like Daybreak's getting warmed up here. Mm -hmm. Back there, we're getting him off stage again. There we go, that's uh, actually excellent matchup knowledge mm -hmm. from Daybreak, Ooh. and there we go, up smash right Great there. Great punish, especially from the one he missed earlier on the upbeat. Great punish. Yeah, when we're in this final destination state, there's no place for Estrella to go to, uh, for have, to have Daybreak possibly miss a follow-up. There we go. Down air coming Down through. Down air to dash, dash attack. attack. Back hit of jab taking him <laughs> off stage there. Doesn't quite fall off on the right edge guard there, but. Estrella not getting the hitboxes he wants on these up -bees. If he gets the correct uh, hitboxes, like what we may see here, yep, that'll take yep. that out. Yeah, enough damage on him, I think. I don't think that was a special sweet box, but I think that was just uh, a great play at the right time, like you said. There we go. This is where we saw Estrella get rolling is when he starts getting this grab mm -hmm. train rolling. So uh, that's how he got all of his percent in game one. Yeah, grab on Sam is extremely punishable for being a tether grab, and it just naturally has like very high end lag. It's actually it's one of the best like risk reward grabs. Yeah. Oh! And there's a shield break walking him towards that blast no zone. Way. We no. See. Oh, I was thinking uh, the bomb the bomb drop into yeah. something. 
I was thinking the bombs drop into uh, down air. Yeah, that'd have been hot. Fair not getting him too much, uh, too much. Now he's off stage here. Ooh, dragging him down with mm -hmm. that fair. And yeah. Daybreak trying to go jab, jab into up tilt, not finding that connection there. Daybreak really being the aggressor in this in this situation. Uh, Australia's kind of realized that he's got a solid lead here, and he can kind of feel him out whenever he needs to. I mean, you can't really let Samus just chill yeah. because charge shot is a thing, and then her other projectiles, she can mix it you up with those, and there we go. And up that's going to be Good stuff. an excellent up smash coming through from Daybreak, no matter, taking it to game three. No matter how heavy Samus is. She's like the sixth heaviest character in the game, I think. Very heavy. I'm not sure of the exact weight number. Yeah, but it, it's something high. What do we got going on here? Shield break, I think. Yeah, I believe this is a shield break setup. I really thought we were gonna see the the down B bomb into the good yeah, old into down air. That have been. I think that would have sealed the game. Yeah, because he gets kill sparks here. Uh, maybe if he would have angled his forward smash differently, you know, that could have taken. I'm very curious. What it could have, should have been. Yeah, exactly. Game three though. He's got the counter pick advantage to stage here. Wonder where he'll go. I'm, sure, I'm assuming he'll stay famous. I I've yeah. never seen Estrella pick anyone else. I don't. Get to watch. I don't have the pleasure of watching Estrella all the time. Mm -hmm. But I've only ever seen him play Samus when he does make his trips to Michigan or I make my trips to Ohio. All right, running it right back though. He thinks the stage or the character was not the issue, and he can take it back whenever he needs to. And it looks like by by this percent lead he's building up right here, he can he can do just that. Yeah. So, uh, game two was a very, very close set, mm -hmm. or a very, very close game. Up Lots beat. of back and forth, and that was excellent bait right there. Not getting the last hit there, but excellent damage nonetheless. Mm -hmm. But and Fox, potent combos can come out. And this edge guard situation is crucial for him. Absolutely, you are correct. Yeah. Uh, Daybreak short hopping him, uh, illusion back to center. That's one of those things that Fox and Falco have, where you can just kind of invalidate stage control, and it's mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love the way Estrella is zoning out, keeping up like center stage with neutral airs. Uh, that is something where you, if you can keep Fox like kind of pressured in the corner, that's all the better for you because you got all the stage to work with. Mm -hmm. Because Fox is going to try to rush you back down, you got to have room to retreat. Mm -hmm. Back with the tether grab. Ooh, catches him on the vulnerability he had from grabbing out the ledge too long. Nice. That was really fast yeah. going for the trump there. Uppy, not going to take it. Nice DI on the uh, on it. Illusion. I thought we were going to see the up air. And the charge shot coming through. Not going to finish him off. No. 123, though. Almost anything from Samus that hits hard will, uh, will probably result in stock here. And there we go. Forward, forward tilt forward actually tilt, taking yeah. it out. Samus is ridiculously buff. <laughs> and <laughs> there we go. Nice roll read in the up smash. Yes. That was beautiful. Samus has one of the slowest rolls in this game. Mm -hmm. It's one of the more, like, it's an easy option to yeah. read. It's a gimmick at this point <laughs> in the meta game. But other than that, her options are amazing. And going for that up smash. Yeah, we're a little bit a little rogue there. I like the bomb use he uses to get back down because he knows he wants to go for up air to kind of combat him from trying to land with Zam's landing. But those bombs are really giving him like just space. Because if he hits him, he's hitting the bomb. Astraeus went for two up airs. I'm wondering why he's opting for that, but this is not quite gonna be the stock. Close. I, I was <laughs> very, be, very close. That was super scary. I'd be holding my breath if I was Daybreak and counting my blessings. Oh, Ooh, the fair! The fair, Astraea gonna take it. Great resilience. Like, that was a tough set. That was a very tough very set. Very tough set. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we've got Goof Aqua.